Hello, William Lee Adams calling from WeWeBlogs.com. Festival Ikungis is right around the corner. So our Kosovo correspondent, Albania watcher, Erdi Tajeki is here. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. Are you ready to talk about Festival Ikungis? <laughs> Let's, Let's do this. <laughs> Now, Erdi, we have to start by talking about the drama that surfaced online last night. Festival Ikungis, RTSH, is not inviting the reigning queen, Ronella Hayati, to give away the trophy. Please tell us, what has the reaction been like in Albania and Kosovo? Uh, when we speak about Albania and its pre-selection show uh, for Eurovision, we always start with a drama. There's always a drama, and the drama this year kicks off by the producers not uh, inviting Ronella Hayati to give the trophy, and they open the show. Uh, and to be honest, there is no such a rule that the previous winner has to be invited, and it's not a must. So, But this is how the tradition used to work in Albania, in the Festival of uh, We have some... Also examples like El Haida Dani, after she won uh, Festival Congress, she did not come to Festival to give the uh, award because she was busy with her schedule because in the time she was already building her career in Italy. And we have the example of Arilena Ara uh, that didn't participate also uh, as a guest in the show after the year after because she thought that she was the rightful winner still to go to Eurovision. So we have two examples and we have, of course, now a new one. Maybe uh, we have others in the history. I didn't check the whole history of the festival, but uh, in the recent years, this is going to be the third year that a uh, winner will not be invited. What I, I think want it's to... telling, honey, yeah. though, that RTSH hasn't said anything. And sometimes it's not what you say, it's what you don't say. And I think by not inviting the reigning queen of Festival Ikungis, it's a criticism. And it's not very nice because Ronella was a fan favorite. Ronella gave so much attention to Albania. Ronella made many people, for the first time, become huge fans of Festival Ikungis. And to me, it just seems a little hurtful, actually, not to invite her back to let her have her moment. You know, Miss Universe always gives up her crown. Why can't Ronella? Uh, I agree with you. Uh, and actually, this decision, decision came after the producer decided to uh, detract the identity of the festival from Eurovision. And that's why actually this year, the winner of the festival will not go to Eurovision, but the public's choice will go to Eurovision. Uh, but what I also want to mention is that the last year's Eurovision winners, Kalush Orchestra, are going to be the special guests of festival. Uh, congratulations for that. I really adore the whole thing. But I think first you have to honor your own winner and then to honor uh, the other's festival winner uh, This in this particular yeah. case. And also. I'm sure that Ukraine's artist, Kalush Orchestra, would love to see Ronella again and vice versa because they all become friends at the festival. Um, they support each other after the festival. And so, yeah, it just seems a little peculiar. I must say, if RTSH is interested in attracting younger viewers, I don't know if this is an issue, um, given that when you look in the audience, it tends to be all old people. You might want to have someone like Ronella Hayati <laughs> on the stage. And to be honest, as, a, as an Albanian fan, Eurovision fan, we always wanted huge uh, stars to be part of festival. We had Angela Pirsteri, we had Ronella Hayati, we had other big artists that didn't want but be part of festival we all wanted that glamorous stuff to be in the festival mm. you know dancers show the whole thing to be apart from the old tradition of the festival but this year the producers decide to bring the old because they have uh, they have also told that they will focus in the orchestra and not in the glamorous stuff of the, the oh show, they will focus the on the orchestra <laughs> yeah they say it every year i know it's a big thing for a festival in albania Congratulations. But sometimes you have to move on and bring something new and not bring what the old what what used to work. You have to give me something new that can work. 
I don't know how can I describe it. I thought uh, you said instead of focus, F U C K S with the orchestra, <laughs> and I was like, these are very strong feelings coming out of Erdi Tajeki. Now listen, this year, of course, as you mentioned, the public will choose the Eurovision representative. Do you yeah. think this is related to? I don't know. Do they want to prevent jury drama? Do they? What's the reasoning here? Uh, as an Albanian fan for years, and not just an Albanian fan, as a Eurovision fan, also we always wanted public to have its choice uh, for the representative of the Albania, because we have seen in the recent years, especially that juries can be, let's say, corrupted uh, mm. somehow. So public always had to have the voice. And now this year we will see uh, how it's going to work because, um, you know, fan bases sometimes can be too toxic and not choose uh, the rightful winner, but choose the winner that they want as a fan yeah, base. I think it's a good way to kind of curb drama because if after the show people say, oh my goodness, the jury made a bad decision, blah, 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 the jury... <laughs> You can't say that now because the decision lies with the people. So if Albania does poorly at Eurovision, it's almost like the broadcaster is saying, your fault, you decided. But <laughs> to be honest, when we when we see in the recent year, even if, if we had, let's say, a public vote in this case, uh, the winner probably would not change in the recent year. Still Ronella would win, I think. Still Angela would win. Still Yonida would win. Yeah. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how it's going to work. I think that's uh, something, you know, it's, there is a bomb after festival and they now they want to get away from that bomb and give that to the public and say, it's your choice if it doesn't yeah. work. So good luck holding that grenade. <laughs> All, <laughs> All right. right. Now, when we look at this year's lineup, there are two big standouts, two obvious favorites. Let's discuss oh, yeah. them one by one. The first being Elsa Lila with the song oh, yeah. Avita. <laughs> now, Erdi, I know a little bit about this woman. Didn't she win Fick twice as a teenager in a row? Oh, yeah, she won. Uh, she is one of the biggest artists in Albania, let's say. Uh, she started her career for sure in Festival Kungas in Albania, but in the recent years, she is living in Italy. And she also has participated, if I'm not wrong, in San Remo. So she also wow. has a quite good career in Italy. Uh, and her song is called Evita, which is her daughter's name. Uh, uh, I thought she was shouting out to Madonna's Evita Peron. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's where she was inspired to, to give the name of the to her daughter. So yeah, she, she has won many awards in Albania, many festivals in Albania. Uh, her uh, name we should point out be. actually. Oh yeah. Uh, in 1999, 1999, just 18 years old, she was elected Albanian singer of the century in a national oh, poll yeah. by RTSH. That's incredible. Yeah, and I think uh, maybe this is giving uh, us a hint about the public vote that this year will choose the Eurovision representative because this is also yeah. a, a poll voted by. Albanians so yeah that's really interesting and didn't she judge um was it the fourth season of the voice of yeah. Albania yeah the war in the voice of Albania yeah so she's a known figure even today uh, definitely definitely she's quite known a very well known a big name uh, I mean together with Fifi uh, the biggest names Wow. Oh, you're actually correct, by the way. In 2007, she was in San Remo with yeah. the song Il Senso della Vita. Wow, that is incredible. Um, can I ask you something sensitive? Okay. Was our, <laughs> <I know. laughs> was our girl in prison recently? Uh, I cannot say if she was in prison, actually, or not in prison, mm. but uh, we had uh, we heard some uh, drama about her and the Italian policy uh, but as i have heard uh, she is out of charges now uh, right. she is uh, clear there is nothing wrong with her or what she's done okay maybe a misunderstanding happened but i know she's clear yeah. now she's out of charges 
No Didn't problem. she? They were like she faced narcotics charges in Italy. Oh yeah, yeah. Which narcotics. she denied. Which she yeah. denied. We must stress this. Our girl said she was innocent, um, yeah. and now she's been. clear. Is she counter suing to clear her name? Uh, to be honest, I don't know much detail, but as I have heard, she is out of charges. So good for I her. Think it's fine for her to travel, to sing, to perform, to go to your vision. Oh, fantastic. You know what? I hope they give her a big apology and a bag load of money because it is not nice <laughs> to accuse people. And of... with that money, she can maybe do her Eurovision staging. <laughs> yeah, or her revamp because you know it's coming. Lord, oh, yeah. right. <laughs> And it's expensive. It's quite expensive. Absolutely. Well, look, she's just a final point, which I found really interesting, is that she was in China and she sang the jingle to a popular Chinese television program on CCTV. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, she is already a global star, let's say, in Albanian way. So I I'm so excited, to be honest, to see Elsa back again in the festival because she is not just one, twice winner. Wow. And if she decided to come back in festival, she will come with everything she has. because So she would only return if she knew she had the song. Definitely. I agree. Uh I agree, and I heard that her song is not as good as we expect, but we'll still have to wait for the final show and uh, okay. listen to her song. Because this year we are not listening to the songs before the festival, so... Yeah, how do you feel about that? How are Albanians reacting to this news that we have to wait to the show to hear? Actually, that was something that gave us an excitement about festival before even yeah. starting to listen to the show, to the songs, and to have an opinion at least. Because in Albania, everything can happen. Even if you're, there is a one popular song, or one fan favorite, it's not still 100% that your song is going to win. So yeah. that's another excitement. But this year, we are going back in the time, in the previous years. So we'll see. I, I'm not a fan of it. I think the songs should be re uh, released earlier. But maybe that's because they want to have that surprise effect for the television viewers when they want to decide which song to go to your vision. Fantastic. Now, let's move on to the other big favorite. This woman has had a number of hits. She knows how to do a contemporary ballad. Her name is Fifi with the song Stop. Now, Erdi, please, how well known is Fifi? <laughs> Okay, uh, Fifi. Actually, Fifi is her stage name, and her actual name is Filoreta Laci. Uh, she Ooh. is an Albanian of Kosovo. Um, and to mention, she composed last year's Cypriot entry from Andromae, Ela. Ela, 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 Ela. Uh, so, Ela. yeah, so she already is a composer known to Eurovision. She was, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if she was there last year, but I'm sure somehow she was involved in the whole process uh, she's quite big she started uh in the voice of albania in top fast in albanian got talent shows uh, she is a name actually that builded her own career by her songs because she's also a very good songwriter and singer so she has a big reputation in kosovo and albania for sure in albanian speaking countries and cities everywhere yeah her songs are so dramatic and her oh. voice is so beautiful and yes. if i'm not mistaken she's known for drama because oh, she yeah. was on big brother yeah. vip did oh, yeah. she faint in a clip that went viral oh yeah yeah um her whole uh, big brother thing was a uh, drama a big drama uh, because she's uh, such a sensitive person um you, you could see that easily. And a Big Brother is a tough competition. And yeah. with her whole sensitivity, uh, she was not able to protect herself 100% psychologically, let's say. Uh, but I should mention that, that during that time, she uh, wrote a song. Uh, you know, in uh, Big Brother, you have everything is so limited. And she had like this piece of paper. And she wrote a song with that piece of wow. paper. Lyrics were beautiful, and that song was a quite hit uh, last year in Albania. I remember very well. We were watching 
together with Angela Perseri at her home, uh, Big Brother. And uh, yeah, she, she was also supporting Big Brother and everything. She was a big fan. Uh, I, I also should mention about Fifi. Um, when Angela Perseri won, I was invited in the after party, uh, at her after party. And I saw Fifi there. And I said, oh, Fifi, I know, uh, I love you. I love your songs and everything, you know, I'm meeting with her. And I said, you should do your vision uh, because uh, you are a good artist, popular. And she said, yeah, I will do your vision. And uh, we see now that she tries. And I heard that her song is also a pop ballad. Ooh. Uh, yeah. What we are used to listen from. Fifi. Uh, so we will listen what she's at her best. I have huge uh, trust on her. I believe in her. So let's see how everything goes because she will have a great team around her for sure. And is she an LGBTQ plus advocate and ally? Uh, I think, yeah, she is. Definitely she is. She's very supportive. Uh, Girl, I saw some yeah. interviews with Albanian <laughs> subtitles and I am not going to go there. But I look yeah. forward to meeting her and discussing her music, her views, everything. All Let's right. See. Do you think in this battle between Fifi and Miss Lila, Elsa, yeah. Elsa who, who is more popular? <laughs> Please tell me. Let's start with that. Who is more popular? Okay, if we start with the young generation, Fifi. If we talk about a bit older generation, Elsa. <laughs> so actually, it's hard to predict who can win public's vote. I think uh, both of them are almost in the same amount of percentage, let's say, as a popularity. I think the song will be the what what's going to decide yeah as it should be as it okay. should be and i believe in both of uh, both of the names both of them are good singers good performance perform uh, performers so everything is about this song as it should be and i gotta say fifi is used to winning because didn't her song that she composed for alban ramosai tikata mia win kunga magica in 2021 oh yeah oh yeah I mean, oh yeah and she's now... got the talent and now Alban is walking on his footsteps. And this year's Kanga Majike winner is also Alban Ramosa's composing song. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Pass that baton. Oh, now yeah. look, there are of course a lot of other singers and acts yeah. in the festival. And I just want to quickly go through them. We won't spend okay. too much time on all these people. Many of them are newcomers and there's not that much music. But oh, yeah. <laughs> first up is Too Farm with the song Atomic. Um, yes. If I'm not mistaken, they're pretty well known, actually. To be honest, I didn't know them. But when I did the research, I was like, yeah, they are similar. And when I checked the names, there we have Castor Ziza, who is uh, in the group. So I said, yeah, now I see why they're in festival. Castor Love Festival, Loves Festival. And, you know, everything makes sense now. I uh, will see. Uh, Castor is a... He's incredible is different in his music. So I'm, I'm waiting for uh, another hit from here, to, to, from he, him, to be honest. He's like a bad boy punk. I love how he's so different. He does it his way. Definitely. And he doesn't hesitate at all. Like he says, this is my song. And if you like it, fine. If you don't like it, it's still fine. So so basically, we'll just call this act yeah. Castro Zizo with Too Far. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because he is more popular. Let's move on. What about Alban Condi and Lorella Karoshi? Okay, the song is called Melody. Uh, Alban Condi is the, uh, the brother of Florian Condi, known in the Albanian scene as Dr. Flori, a uh, big producer, oh. big singer in Albania. He passed away a few years ago. Um, and yeah, he is competing now uh, in festival. I, don't, I didn't know Alban, and I don't know Lorela Karoshi. Both of them are, um, are new to the festival. But Alban is also coming also as a participant, but also as a participant with as a composer at the same time. So he has two songs in the festival this year. Oh, wow. I wish him luck against himself. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we've got Albina Kalmedi with the song Do Ya Love It? 
Oh yeah, do yeah. Albina Kamandi is going to participate. When they first got the names, we heard that uh, Albina is going to be alone, but the truth is different. Uh, she will be in stage with her family. So it's Alvina Kelmendia and her family band. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's a little cringe. I mean, do they perform together <laughs> outside of Festival de Congas or is this no. just... No, no, Alvina is uh, the voice winner. Okay. Uh, final, uh, finalist, sorry, I'm sorry. It's a finalist in The Voice. Uh, she is uh, from Kosovo. Uh, she is very popular also. Uh, not as much as Fifi and this all for sure, but she's very popular. And she is participating with a song from Enis Molai and Eriona Rushiti, which are the oh composers. Oh my God. They're the writer of Yonida Malici. Yonida Malici. Yeah. Incredible. Definitely. So it's probably going to be a big Albanian... Uh, Ballad. Melody, for sure, in the song, I'm sure. And the song is Mali, which is yearning. Oh my goodness. I thought the song was Do. Yes, you're right. Sorry. Mali, love it. Oh, no, no. It. Yeah, no, no. It's Do Ya. Sorry. It's, it's my, Do Ya, uh, love yeah, it. It's Do Ya, love it. Sorry. I miss an. Yeah. It's Do Ya, love it. We'll see. Do Ya. We will love the song. <laughs> but moving on to Mali, longing or yearning. This is yeah. Anduel Kovaci. Yeah, Kovaci. Kovaci babes. Kovaci yeah, babes. Kovaci. He's a very young singer, no? He's a very young singer. When I was doing my research for Festival de Congas, I had big struggle trying to find who this guy is. And I found out that he is well known for his covers in TikTok and oh. YouTube. So he's, he's a found artist, just like Dua Lipa. She started also from her YouTube covers. And he's going to participate in the Festival de Congas with a, co a composer from Irkens Huka, which is a very big name in Albania. Oh, very. did he do Habibi, Angela Peristeri's Habibi? Yeah, her recent Incredible. hits, he is the one who did. So I have uh, big expectations from him, to be honest. I cannot wait. We move <laughs> on to RC, RC Bako, with the song Santa Duet Jemiti, Tonight I Want to Be With You, honey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you know R.C.? No, I did not know. But when you go back and see her uh, career, you can see that he has won Best Debut Artist, Prize First Place of the Song Category, and the Best Vocal in Tirana Art Fest. So Ooh. he is used to know now for his winning the trophies. I see. So judges love that RC. They want to back that RC up. Definitely. Because if you win as a, an award, like best vocal, you have to be a very good performer. And mm. we'll see. This is going to be uh, the second song of his career. Is RC a woman her. or a man? It's a she, yeah. It's a, ah, it's yeah. A, yeah, sorry. It's a no, female. I was also confused. I, the, the word RC yeah. for me is very loaded, so I couldn't know. Um, In Albania, it's also the same. RC can, <laughs> can be a male name and a woman name. When we, If we go in Albanian name, if a name ends with E, it has to be a male. Oh. Well, so that's why I said it's a he, and, but actually it's a she. <laughs> yeah. Well, goodness. I think I know actually RC's first song more than Friends. Maybe you do. I don't know. Yeah, don't yeah, know. maybe. I think I saw it on YouTube. But anyway, we move on. Next up is Melodana Mankaku with Manzaku, Manzaku Babes, with the half of my heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just my Zemna uh, in mm. Albanian. Um, Melodiana uh, is a young singer also. Um, she is the sister of Wendy Manzaku. Uh, she participated in Festival of Kangas before. And she she sang for Yonida vocal. Malici. Yeah, she was the backing vocal of Yonida Malici. So she's coming from a family, a uh, musician family. And um, her song is called, as you said, The Half of My Heart. And it's composed by last year's Kangamajike winner and last year's, this year's Kangamajike composer, Alban Ramosai. And ah, runner up. Marco to... Polo. And Didn't runner up. Finish? To uh, yeah. Yonida, he was not Yonida, to Ronella. Ronella. Yeah, <laughs> another fan favorite. So, if uh, we are talking about who can be the best as a new artist, Melodiana is promising a lot. 
Is Melodiana her real name? Yeah. Does that mean melody or song? Yeah. 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 Kind of. Yeah. She was born to do this. <laughs> she... <laughs> I agree. And, and you know, if uh, she is having the power of Alban Ramos and Marco Polo behind her, so. And Wendy Mancancu. And know. Wendy. Yeah. Wendy is now in United States, uh, but amazing. Oh. I can't wait for her to listen to her song. Now, another familiar name, <laughs> Inchi Nasufi with a Bure Man. Oh, yeah. Bur. Bur. You know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Angie, yeah, we know uh, Eurovision fans and festival fans now know Angie uh, Nasufi. She's going to participate with a song from Alan D, in, um, which he, he's known for his uh, reggaeton music in uh, Albanian music industry. So I'm expecting a reggaeton song from them. Uh, Alan did last year. I met with Alan did last year, and he was looking for a singer for Festival Fungus uh, in that time. And uh, he found Angie. To be honest, uh, I will speak truthfully now. I don't think uh, Angie has to uh, come back this much to the festival because she always accused festival for choosing the song, the winner song before everything. Oh, accusations from for the singers who won the festival. So now she's coming back to the festival. She can come as much as she wants, but as long as you talk bad about festival, I don't think it's right to be part of the festival every, almost every year, you know? Oh, that's, that's interesting. It's like, I want to participate, but I don't like you. I want yeah. to be on your stage, but I'm gonna talk bad, but just, I understand. I, I agree, I agree, I agree, so. Well, let's move right along then to oh, yeah. er Erma Michi <laughs> with the Cosmos of Love. This is another really young performer because I believe oh, she was yeah. on The Voice Kids. Oh, yeah, she was in The Voice of Kids. It's a she for sure. <laughs> That's uh, right. <laughs> not going to be a problem. Uh, she's coming with her own composition as a song. So oh. she's a singer, songwriter. She was in The Voice of Kids. I don't know what she can else do in this young age mm -hmm. uh we'll see and her style is similar to emmy winehouse as mm. she says that she's inspired by emmy winehouse so we'll see if we can see any things similar to her music. it'll be nice to have those vibes that'll be a new flavor Definitely. for the festival Definitely. for sure Definitely. um a familiar flavor of Albanian Song Contest is Miss Evie Ritchie with Maketa Give Me Back. Yeah, with the song Makthe, Evie Ritchie. I love Evie Ritchie. I should say that. Beautiful I woman. I met her in festival for two years now. She's participating. Amazing personality. Uh, I've done interviews with her. Such a good singer. I loved Tear, her song Tear. Tear, yeah. Tear, oh my God. Tear. Stunning. Such a good song. It was such a good song. It was. And it, that song won the Tirana uh, Award. Yeah. In that year. So she's coming with a song composed by Erwin Gonchi and uh, Vyosava Ala. Uh, and we'll see how her song is. I'm so excited to see her back in the festival. I think somehow, anytime sooner or later, she's, she's going to get what she wants from festival. So, yeah, she's Eurovision bound one of these years. Definitely. It definitely. seems inevitable. Definitely. Next up is Fabian Basha with gla a glass. Yeah, a glass. How do you say that? Uh, in Albanian, I would say nje got. Nje got, a glass. A glass, nje got. <laughs> so yeah, he participated in the uh, festival Kangas like 10 years ago with the song Yam T. Uh, uh, also, the, he is coming with a song composed by Albano Kondi that I mentioned earlier. Ah. This is a song that he composed. Uh, they are whole from a whole new, uh, same company, music company. So we'll see. Uh, I don't know him. I don't know his songs, to be honest. Uh, We'll see. Uh, we'll see uh, how everything will go for him. Maybe he can win the trophy for the best new artist. 
Now we have another person coming back for the third time, I believe. Frank oh, yeah. Coruni with Nye Pritchie awaiting. Uh, yeah, Franz Coroni with song Anya Uh He's coming back in the festival. He participated. It's, it's going to be the, his third time now. He participated also in uh, Kanga Magica. To be honest, I don't have much expectations uh, from him because his music is not relatable to the Eurovision and not to festival and his fans so mm. he always writes his own music doesn't he oh yeah mostly so mostly maybe he should give it a chance you know give a chance to someone else <laughs> and sing somebody definitely, else's song definitely and uh he's such a humble person I've met him a very good personality but um uh, sometimes you have to know where you have to stop so <laughs> yeah it just it forces yeah. you out of your comfort zone Definitely. A festival is a big tradition in Albania and I understand that sometimes singers, even if they don't win or they don't have the winner song, they still want to participate because it's a big tradition. But yeah, congratulations for him being here for the third time. We'll see how he will go. Now, of course, there is a new artist category and the next act, Gint Hosha with Air, is yeah. in that group. Oh yeah, we have I guess ten new artists that will going are going to participate this year in the festival out of twenty uh, songs, twenty six or four. I'm not sure which how many songs we have. Uh, he participated in uh, Genuine Vogel, which translated in English as uh, "Little Genius." Okay, and so we have huge artists from that competition um Casey Tola, Olti Bo Olta Boca wow many big artists uh, started their careers there so he has a good background already and um he participated also in uh, Kanga Magica so he has a beginning already in his career so this is going to be his second time participating in a big festival in Albania and uh, yeah, I'm excited to listen to his song because one of the composers of the song is Elio Shuli, which is, um, we're not friends. I, I've ne never met, ha met him, but I know him. Uh, he's a radio represent, uh, presenter. He works in uh, Tirana Radio. Uh, so, and his writing is very well. I've seen some of them. So I'm excited to see how his song is. Oh, well, goodness, Erdi, we still have 12 more acts to go. Next up is Gerj Casinari with Yesterday. Oh, yeah, Gerj Casinari. Uh, he come, uh, he participated a few times already in the Festival of Congress, and I think he is a good player in the festival because uh, he has a different type of genre, let's say, uh, what mm. we hear here in, uh, in Festival of Congress. So... Yeah, his song is uh, called Die, Yesterday, and is a self-composed song. He composed his uh, home song. So we'll see uh, if he's going to make it this time and uh, bring the real hit this time. I, I will see. I like him as a guy. We love mm. such a nice person. But yeah, we'll see how his music will go. Blues, country, rock and roll, hard rock, heavy metal. He really experiments. So I don't know do what everything. to expect. He can yeah. play different instruments like guitar, bass guitar, drums, piano. Like with music, he can do everything. Mm -hmm. So always expectations are so high from him because a big talent. And the next talent is another newcomer, Luna Cass. Ooh, Luna Salsholi? Ciao Sholi. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> With the song, I give you my life, Jetan Tafal. Jetan Tafal, yeah. Uh, also a new singer uh, in the new category, new artist category. Uh, but what we should mention about this song and this performance and this act is that his, her song is composed by Endrishani and Pandilacho. Endrishani is also a big name uh, producer in um, Albania, a big composer. He composed a few songs already in, uh, in Festival of in previous years. But we should mention Pandilacho. He composed, let's say, Ledina Celos, Tomorrow I Go. Incredible. Frederic Ndocis, Hear My Plea. Olta Bocas, Zemrani Lampeng. 
and Michela Rapos Dambaya in Junior Eurovision. Dembe dembe Dambaya. Yeah. Dembe dembe Dambaya. I mean, he is already making the songs for Eurovision. Like, it's ready and go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I have really also big, big expectations from this act. Uh, I hope the singer can nail, and I hope the song is really good. Uh, because the names behind this song are big, very big. And speaking of big, the next act is Lynx, who have been here four times before? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they do. Uh, Lynx, we have with a song, Nesekia Besim, if you believe, uh, a self-composed song by the whole group this time. Um, yeah, also different flavor for the festival. Another rock band, another rock song, which we Albanians love let's say uh and this is going to be their fifth time actually in the festival it's going to be the fifth time uh yeah let's hope for the best i hope we can like the song uh yeah we'll see i don't know i don't have much to say about the whole the whole group because they usually compete just in festivals and mm -hmm. not outside of them so yeah a good festival group Next up is a massive diva, a massive diva, Manjola Nalbani Dua I Want. She's won this festival multiple times. She's won everything. But didn't yeah. she once say, I'm never coming back to this festival? And here she is again. <laughs> oh, for her, rules can change for her. You know, that's how big she is. Uh, <laughs> every young singer, every big artist now in Albania has passed through her hands and her vocal lessons. Mm -hmm. uh, she's a teacher at the Academy in Tirana for new artists. Uh, you know, diva. Like, she cannot be compared by any other singer. She's in her own uh, level wow. in her own league and she's coming back with a song composed by herself and Kledi Bahite oh my god she is the composer of Angela Peristeri's Karma if Kledi competes in a festival he goes to win so and Maniola is a huge name Manhola? So Maniola Maniola yeah and if we have two big names as a composer and as a singer, what can you wait, expect then a yeah. winning song? She won in 89, she won in 92, she won in 93. Yeah. And, but uh, I don't know if you remember in the year that Angela won in the 59th. Oh, yeah. Festival, she could not compete because she was with COVID in that time. If you're. This is her comeback moment. This is her oh, comeback. Yeah. I'm I'm so happy to I will be so happy to meet her to be honest when oh. I will go to Tirana. Fantastic. Wow. Well, let's hope you have your permit of stay, which is <laughs> the next group. Their song is Phobia. Um and the members are actually popular. Yeah. They are to be honest, also a group that I didn't know. Mm. Uh I had to do some research for them. And I've found out that they are, the members of the group are Ergus Meta, who is also the composer of this song, Aulon Keshpai, and Herton Meta. They are known for their rock music, and they have competed in Top Fest before, and never in Kanga Magike, and never in Festival Kangas. Um, I think, as I've heard, they want to, they like to do the songs for, uh, the issues of a society. Oh. So the name Fabia makes sense in this case. We'll see. I'm excited to listen to their music. I hope it's not old style because they are not young in age. Uh, but we'll see. I don't know. I have mixed feelings for this song <laughs> and act. <laughs> Well, we will see indeed. Next up is Patrit Sarsahu with Imri It Mirisi, your name, goodness. Oh, yeah. Uh, Petrit uh, Chakajiu. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Albanian language, for being this hard. The foreigners, for sure. Uh, he is 
well known for uh, as a singer and songwriter. From Yeriko Walls to Yeriko since 2001, the Kosovo boy band often compared to their famous, to the style in the famous band of Rage Against the Machine. Oh, wow. You so wait, they're, they're from Kosovo, this group. The group that he was part is ah, a okay. boy band, but he is competing by himself. Gotcha. <laughs> I, I found this out thanks to my research because I definitely did not have any idea who he is. But he is, yeah, he came out to be a quite popular in Kosovo. I mean, in 2001, but still he was popular in his time. So may uh, I ask you, yeah. I've read that he sings in the Geg dialect. Yeah, Geg dialect. What's, what is this? Okay, the Geg dialect, it's, um, let's be... Uh, Hopefully, I'm not wrong. Uh, what is spoken in the northern Albania in Kosovo, the Albanian of northern Albania, the dialect in northern Albania and in mm. Kosovo. So it's a, a bit different. For example, let's have an example. We have Elvana Jata with Metana. Mm. Metana, it's an example of that dialect. In actual Albanian, it have to be um, me, Metara. Ooh. And it's metana, you know, it's a different way Give of Give me some of that gag. The gag sounds oh, yeah. beautiful. <laughs> it sounds beautiful. And it, I think it's a very beautiful touch in the song, uh, mm. this particular thing, a gag uh, speaking. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I have also big expectations from him, to be honest, because he is popular from, thanks to his band in Kosovo and Albania speaking land. So... We'll see. We'll see how his debut in Festival of Kangas will be. Now, the next artist will be remembered by fans from last year's Festival of Kangas, Rezarta yeah. Smaya with Neden, Neden in Eden. She oh, yeah. really challenged for a win last year. This was one of the favorites with the jury. Definitely. Uh, I heard that juries really liked her song because it was also in Open Albanian. Uh, dialect. Mm. Um, also, this song probably is going to be in the Northern Albanian. Um, Rezarta Smaya, she's not very popular. She's not as big as Elsa or Fifi or Maniola, but uh, definitely she is some a singer that you should take care of and you should listen to her. You should her vocal abilities are amazing. Definitely. Mm. And in the recent years, she, she has also worked in her stage charisma because before she was not that good in that. But now <laughs> she has that. She has found her best place. So mm. she knows now what she can do. She won. She was the third place last year together, together with another singer. So... If she is not, and another thing that I should mention, because I have wrote here, she participated in Festival Kangas seven times. Seven and, times? Yeah. And in four of them, she finished in the seventh place. That's so weird. <laughs> Very weird. Seven She's times. lucky number seven. <laughs> Definitely. And I hope this time she is going to be better place than seventh yeah. place. Last year she was third, so she, Probably she's coming for a win. I mean, that's her. She was in third place, and now she has to come for a win. You know what I mean? Wow. Well, and, another. Oh, please. And she is competing with the composer of Eriona Rushiti, uh, Yonida Marici's Cleotokos composer. So. Wow. Yeah. She's and he, Wow. <laughs> that's incredible. And so is Ravina Dilo with the song Motit Weather. Forgive me, Rovina is very well known. She she's a very powerful singer. She's won this festival, hasn't she? Yeah, she did, and uh, she is very popular. She uh, is very well known. Uh, she won festival thirty nine. Uh, if Albania could participate before in Eurovision, maybe she would could be one of the representatives of Albania. But she is. Um, a big, a big name. Um, uh, maybe in the level of Maniola and Albania, you know, 
a big, oh my God. a big name, and she has won festival. She's been in Kangamajika. Yeah, she's probably competing with Maniola. You know what I mean? They are out wow. of this whole league. They have their own league. So uh, we'll see how everything will go to her. She has That's a big, incredible. Big long, they could long fast a musical career. So yeah, I met her at Kunga Magica a few years ah, ago. Yeah. yeah, super nice woman. She's yeah. always on the Instagram. <laughs> yeah, I'm Amazing. looking at her right now. Yeah, oh, love her, love her. All right, we move on. Sarah Capo with Parateya before you. Yeah, before you uh, or in front of you, uh, oh. because Albanian is such a language that can have two meanings in English. Um, She's also young, from young category. As I said, we have 10 acts from uh, young, young category. Um, she is such a rebellious girl. That's what I have heard from oh. my uh, research and I've seen in my uh, researches. Um, she's going to compete with her own uh, composition and she usually writes her own song. She has a song called Watching You composed by Beatrix Ramosai, who is... VIP Big Brother. <laughs> Together with Fifi, they were so big uh, in uh, in uh, Big Brother. And the, that song's the lyrics were written by Alban Ramosai. So oh. definitely another singer that we should have attention, for sure. Uh, we'll see how uh, things will go for her. I don't know. We'll see. I, I have no idea how her song can be probably a pop song because she's young, so she has to sing pop. <laughs> <laughs> We've got another newcomer. This is yeah. Sergio Hajdini, Hard. Yeah. Sergio Hajdini with song Vostir, Hard. Uh, also a new singer in the music industry in Albania. He competed in The Voice of Albania and in various Albanian festivals such as Top Fest and Kanga Majike. He participated actually before in Festival Kangas in the 55th edition with uh, Luca Haidini with the song Coap Laket, but unfortunately they failed to qualify in the grand final. Uh, we'll see. It's a self-composed song again. Uh, we'll see if this his luck is going to be in his side this time and to be able to qualify in the grand final. By the way, you see this above my head. Do you know what this is? Oh, it's so far. I cannot see. It's a shoe. Yeah, it's an Albanian motif. Yonita Malici oh, gave them to my, me. Oh, my God. I don't Look know if you can there. see. Do you see it now? Yeah, yeah, I can see. Oh, my God, that's so beautiful. Isn't that sweet? She's such a Amazing. sweetheart. Amazing. You Gotta keep that. it on the wall, honey. Definitely. Next up, we have Urban Band. Now, they we've seen them at Kunga Magic and we've seen them yeah. at Festival of Kungas before, haven't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Uh, probably they are the favorite of Devon and Remy at WeVlogs.com. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. I know uh, when I speak about Festival, he says Urban Band is coming back. <laughs> every time he gives me that information that urban band is coming back and welcome back urban band <laughs> um yeah another rock band another rock song for sure i don't have expectations for them really why not band. i don't know they're not with their music they're not talking to me so okay sometimes i found them old-fashioned Unfortunately. Mm. Uh, and maybe because I'm not a huge fan of rock music that might be also another issue uh, so issue might be on me and not in them so hey fair your taste is your <laughs> taste now Definitely. the final name is Vanessa Sono with Aroma Yoni our scent yeah that sounds our nasty scent. <laughs> <laughs> actually it's quite nasty yeah and also in Albania <laughs> And it's such a romantic way mm. to be nasty, let's say. Uh, <laughs> she is the winner of the first prize in Genioi Vogel 6. Oh, girl. She's a genius. She is a genius in music, for sure. Um, mm. She achieved success in the young ages. You know, she was third place in the Child's Festival in RTSH for Junior Eurovision. So she tried 
to be a uh, part in junior Eurovision. Uh, also, there, this is the uh, interesting part. Part of the duo act called Shivers, uh, who performed the original pop rock indie material and have performed mainly in Oxford and London. Oh, girl. Yeah, this year she competed in, in Kanga Magica with Sang Dota J. Oh, uh, let's Google it. She lives in London. She studied there. Fabulous. So you can go anytime and uh, interview her for oh, sure. <laughs> we're there. We'll be meeting down the door. If she the, wins, you know? Incredible. So she'll be great at interviews. Her English will be on point. Definitely. And, you know, since this year, the festival, the Eurovision Song Contest is in United Kingdom. So what else? Who can else can we present us better than Vanessa Sono? Oh, we're ready, yeah. Vanessa. Vanessa Slay. <laughs> yeah. No, I've got to ask you, Erdi. Yeah, let's go. Obviously, we've said that the kind of the three big names are Fifi, Elsa, and Maniola. And Rovina Adilo. And Rovina Dilo, absolutely. Who is the media in Albania focusing on the most? Is there one of these acts that they're most hyped about? Well, uh, Fifi probably it's the one who has the most attention, have mm. the most attention. But also, Esalia's coming back was a huge headline because, as I said, she has won many times. So if she's coming back, she's coming bold. Um, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. Uh, Fifi, Elsa, one of them for sure. Uh, I've heard uh, Fifi's song is better than Elsa's. So okay, she is one step uh, forward ahead. than her. Ahead. Anything yeah. about Maniola? Maniola's song? I didn't hear this. This year, is, this year is so secret. Uh, mm. Last year, I knew most of the songs before festival. I knew the names before the festival. But this year is so secret. Everything is so secret behind the doors. It's happening. Um, yeah, we'll see. And since we don't have the songs previously uh, to be released, we cannot have option ba options based on their songs, but just based on their names. We are having attention now in Fifi, Elsa, Maniola, but we can have a singer that we are not paying attention now because this is Festival Kangas and this is a based song. Uh, everything is based on the song. So we'll see, we'll see. I don't know. Uh, this year is going to be quite different for Albania. We have four night show, which we used to have three night show. Uh, yeah. The first night and the second night is going to be the the uh, semifinals and in the third night uh, we will have the tribute night for the festival and in the fourth night we will have the uh, grand final where we will see who's going to represent albania it's a long week <laughs> that is a, a long, long week, week. Yeah. <laughs> and unfortunately i will be there just for the grand final because uh -huh. of my working schedule uh, schedules but for sure diego will be there oh amazing year. he loves the drama Oh he God, loves yeah. the drama. We all do. Come on. We can. Oh, it was incredible. Thick last year was start. incredible. I loved it. Yeah. And I think you are not able to come this year, right? You know, it's just things are so <laughs> up in the air. I Everything's just so up in the air. So it's difficult, but probably yeah. not, sadly, sadly. Yeah. But I really hope you have the best time, Erdi Tajeki. And yeah. thank you so much for walking us through. Was it 24 artists? Uh, I guess, yeah, 24, yeah. 24. Thank you so much. That's a dozen times too, and I felt it, trust me. I'm so glad to <laughs> learn yeah, more yeah. about these stars. Yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully we will have a great time in festival. Another big the year, let's say, 61st edition. Everything can happen. This is Albania. Everything, yeah. Everyone can win, so we'll see. Well, that's what we think. What do you think? Are you excited about Festival Ikungis? Who of these stars stands out to you? And which newcomers have titillated you the most? Let us know here on Wee Wee Blogs. And please be sure to like our video, to subscribe us, and to follow us in Pinterest for sure. <laughs> and also TikTok and Instagram. <laughs> oh, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and everywhere. We are everywhere. Absolutely. We'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye.